हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम बैक पेज लोड टाइमर अ सुपर पावरफुल टूल टू टेस्ट द परफॉर्मेंस ऑफ योर वेब पेजेस और योर यू कैन से योर वेबसाइट वेरी सिंपल वेरी इजी टू यूज इनफैक्ट लाइक यू डोंट हैव टू डू एनीथिंग एक्स्ट्रा ऑटोमेटिकली इट विल गिव यू द लोड टाइम ऑफ ऑल योर वेब पेजेस विदाउट डूइंग एनीथिंग एक्स्ट्रा सो हियर पेज लोड टाइमर इफ यू ओपन दिस लिंक हियर यू विल सी एड टू क्रोम हियर एंड एड टू अदर ब्राउजर सो I will give you guys explanation about the Chrome and then you, if you click here, it will take you to here where you can find the links for all other browsers. So just click on Add to Chrome, and here how you can get it installed. Just click on Add to Chrome and then Add extension. This is hundred percent safe and secure, so you need not to worry about it. Like if you go here and go down, you can check out the privacy practices. So no, none of the data is being sold or anything. So this is absolutely safe and secure. Runs offline in your local system. and then after installation you open any web page or any website uh, then it will start working or you just restart the browser after installation you will not find the logo here page load timer logo here so what you have to do click on this extension default extension logo and here you see that page load timer pin it to toolbar and then you can find it here now if you open any page any web page you will see automatically it is showing the load time of this particular web page like 1.19 second it has taken you just click and you can see the detail of this particular web page the great feature one of the best feature which i love about this tool is that it automatically gives you the auto alert if any page performance goes down which i will show you how you can set up and how you can get that auto alert whenever there is a performance of any web page goes down so like we have seen so if you open any page now going forward you will see the load time for all the pages here so you can see that it how much time that page particular is taking like 1.95 second it has taken it has taken 0.5 second and then it has taken 1.19 second if you click here you see the report click on view report you will see the data here now if i open selectorsup.com or like reload the selectorsup.com last time it was 1.95 now it is 1.97 if i open the report or reload the report again it will show me the only the latest data like i want to see the average load time like how last time it was taking 1.95 1.97 now i want to see all of them all the data here so in that case just click on the logo here there is a setting option and here you see that keep duplicate url values in the report so if you turn on this by default it will be off now if we reload this page so it will have this uh latest load time as well as the earlier one So now you can see the both the values are there 1.97 and 2.01 average load time is this so if i will load this like multiple times and refresh the page here report here and you can see that all all of them are here and this is the average load time so this is how we can get the average load time okay now the second setting under setting we have many things so here we have a setting of a blacklist like right now this extension is working on all the pages okay but we don't want to make it work like on all the pages we want to block some of the website so like let's say you want to block the google.com okay now if you will open google.com it will not show the load time for that particular page and it will not run there so you can see that it's not working here if you click on this logo it will show this direct setting pop up where you can set like let's say i don't want to make it work for another website flipkart.com so you just make it enter into the next line and then you can enter the domain name if you open the flipkart.com now it will not work on this if you want to remove remove both of them and then if you will load it will work on this okay so this is how you can blacklist now suppose you want to whitelist some of the website because generally we always work for a company so i am working for let's say selectorsup.com and i want to Uh, run this particular plugin only on selectorsup.com so whenever i open any page it should show me this particular uh, it should work on this particular website only all the pages of this particular domain and then it should give me the report because in the report right now all the website all the urls are there which i'm opening but when i want to share the report or download the report i don't want all of them okay so here clear the data and now we will mention the enter the domain name whitelist okay So here we will enter selectorsup.com, and here what is the time? Time let's say we want 
to load all the pages of selected sub website within two seconds. If it will take more than two seconds, so this is the maximum load time of selected sub web page. This is where the most important feature of page load timer. So we want like it should load within two seconds. Okay. Now, if you refresh this page, you don't have to click on save or anything. It automatically saved. So it has taken 1.89 seconds. Let's go to another page. It has taken 1.097 seconds. If you open view report, both the fields are here, both the pages details. Now, if you want to change, like now we want to see like how it will give us the auto alert, right? So let us make it one second. Okay. Now we are expecting that our web page, any of the web page or selectors of website should not take more than one second of time, right? So we will click close. Let's load the page. And if it will take, you see that it has taken more than one second. So this page took longer than the max load time of one second. So we got the auto alert. Now you see how easy it has become. You are testing any website, any web page of your website and you will get auto alert. So you basically you can keep set, keep it set maximum load time for your website and if any of the web page will take more than that time then you can always report it so this is going to be very very helpful now you open any page if that will take time it will show you the alert you can quickly report it to your developer and tell them that see there is a bug uh, there is an issue there is a performance issue of the web page for this particular website and you can always like see the report and you can also download the report like you can download it from here or like just by clicking on the logo you can download the report so this way you can do it much much better thing also we have provided one setting like if you don't want to see that alert coming every time so you can keep it off just by clicking on this toggle now that alert pop-up will not show only the red color here it will show the time in red color and when you have because you have given the whitelist you have whitelisted this particular website only so it will now work on this particular website only it will not open it will not work for any other website right now because we just wanted you just wanted to run on this website if you want to add more you can click on plus here and like let's say we want to work it on make it work on flipkart.com as well and our maximum load time is like one second or you can enter 0 0.5 second or point something but there's it value should always be greater than zero now let's close this and if you open flipkart.com it will work here it is it has not shown the alert because we have kept it off now if you open any other website which is not these two like you see that google.com it won't work because we have just whitelisted two websites so this is how you can use the page load timer a super duper powerful plugin which will help you guys to get auto alert whenever there is a whenever the performance of your web page goes down i hope you found this extension very very helpful i will request all of you that if you find it useful please give us a rating here and leave us a review in the comment section as well as in the chrome store and share it with your community and team thank you thank you so much please like this video and subscribe to the channel also check out these awesome informative videos and keep watching more videos on selector sub channel thank you